Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Efren Luigi and welcome back to X Rebirth. Today we'll be starting my second se season of X Rebirth, this time in hard mode. So just so just so you have the proof, here we go. We have campaign the different starts. I haven't tried any oh, you can start straight into Lottie Outpost. Ooh, you don't start with much in that one though. Start with a pharma lab here, H da 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 Nothing much there. You start with a single freighter that with this one. So, we're going to start with the campaign mode, and just so you guys have a look, see, right there, hard, selected, and off we go. So, um, I was doing some reading, and, and I found another reason that I wanted to redo this. Apparently, in the latest versions of the game, there's, there's, um, I may, for, for those who have watched the older episodes, you may remember that there was one station in Lava Flow, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, and one of the sectors there by the jump gate, well, by the jump gate down Loray, I guess would be the best way to put it, that had built on top of itself, so there were two identical stations existing simultaneously. Well, that 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 will go away, but also apparently there was, that was only one station. Apparently there were supposed to be four to five other ones, well, three to five other ones. Yeah, uh, different, depending on where I read it, it was different opinions, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of different stations. Here we go. So we'll be able to witness those get built in the safe. Historical ships. Pride of Albion. This prototype built by John Fergo in 2932 was a technical masterpiece based on blueprints by engineer Bala G. Its great flexibility in engine performance, as well as weapon, shield, and hull technology would have made it the first choice for any military organization. The model, however, never got into mass production due to excessive costs involved in building the main structure. Hmm. Keyboard clicking. Not me. It's Ren. She is a good looking ship. The only prototype was bought by the Argon government and played an important role in the Terran conflict as well as the Plutarch Revolution in Albion, where it was registered under the Taladi Faalos de Sanos Humnas. The ship was last seen heavily damaged in a massive battle against the Plutarch Mining Corporation and was registered as lost in action. <laughs> Not quite destroyed yet. I think I have an update for this encyclopedia entry. Encyclopedia. History. Albion Revolution. Immediately following the surprising Great Gate shutdown of 2947, the Plutarch Mining Corporation started a revolution against the Argon government forces stationed in the Albion solar system. Unable to call in any reinforcements from their home systems, the Argon military was defeated and PMC instantiated a provisional government. Despite the decades of being disconnected from the gate network, the PMC government has since been an enormous success and brought wealth, prosperity, and security to all the people of the Albion system. Note, article locked. No updates allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Read it all before. And here we go. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this Scott pack. Hey, is someone there? I need help. Yes, I hear you. I've got system failures. I need to dock. I think there's a docking port here, but I'm not sure if it's working. Sure. I'm coming in hot. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks. How'd you end up in that pod? I was attacked in the highway. It happened so fast. They could still be nearby. I checked. You were the only ship out there. We can head for the nearest station, but it'll take a while. This ship's not in the best shape. If they come after me, then we're in trouble. Let me take a look. And she just makes herself right at home. So another advantage to restarting my save is my save, um, back in the 
2.5 or the 2.1 days, I had to edit my previous save file to get some things to work. And now that that may have left some code fragments, so this will uh not this save will be nice and clean. If this is some elaborate plot to steal my ship, you should have waited until I finished repairs. You're not kidding. This thing's a mess. You an engineer? Technician. I work for the Heart of Albion, performing safety checks for working areas, ships, production lines, that kind of thing. Yisha Terran. Ren Otani. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Pride of Albion. You know your ship. I found it dumped not too far from here. I've been trying to restore it, and some joker thought it'd be funny to recode its ID to Albion's skunk. I should probably let my people know I'm all right. Can't help you there. I was out here looking for a replacement high-gain transmitter. Probably best if we head to some station. We'll get going after I warm up the engines a bit. So, we're back, and this is it. Okay, my controls are still the same. Am I actually moving? Oh yeah, I'm moving just very slowly. And turning, still not good. I and mean, we gotta wait for Yusha's upgrade. Only some PMC ships exiting the highway. Almost ready. Did you know that your boost engines are disabled? Yeah, they've never worked. Something to do with. Hold on. Woo! Off we go. What the hell was that for? Those were Plutarch security ships. You don't just pull off a burn like that in their faces. Relax. They won't catch up for a while. Look. I've got a friend on a station near here. Get me there, and we'll get most of your systems back online. Check this out. And here we go. Green thrusters should be more responsive now. We much better. And <laughs> yeah, um, apparently those t uh, tool tips aren't uh, don't reference your uh, control scheme. That's actually. Yeah, because it doesn't show the joystick. Did she get into a fight? She's been like this since I found her. How about we get to that station? Oh, I'm not used to having these uh, weak shields. There's no boost power behind them. So off we go to the um, one of the unique stations in the game, the unbuildable ones. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to focus on the plot up till I get my the Rahana's trade ship. Then I'm going to do some basic trading, get myself some money, enough to uh, last me through the rest of the plot. I don't think I'm going to start straight. I have a plan for making money. I think, I, well, my plan is don't don't start building straight away in DeVries. Where are those guys going? Is there a group of enemy f allied freighter fighters nearby? I kind of want to take on those. Uh... Okay, the Sovereign Syndicate's leaving. Okay. So we get nice and close. Autopilot. Oh, it's still targeting the uh, right squad. Okay. There we go. I don't think we're oh, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna see a difficulty increase until that first combat. Apparently, um, Cyclopedia. Map. Badlands Mining Colony. The Badlands Mining Colony is one of the oldest mining facilities in Albion. Initially a high yield but sizable rock, it was colonized by the Plutarch Mining Corporation in the year 2942. Until Albion became isolated from the rest of the universe due to the Great Shutdown, it served as the unofficial capital. So, you want me to patch up this old junker for free? It's nothing too major, and I think I've earned a few favors. You've got one. One favor. You're more trouble than you're worth. Okay, guy. I'll get your ship into a decent state. That includes the weapons, so you'd best keep quiet about where you got them from. 
There are some components around here I could use. Look around for them while I get set up. I'll leave you boys to it. Find engine components. Engine components are back. I thought I thought that was just a very short Tilati, but no, he's kneeling down. There. Talk to Hanson Derby. Actually, I want to have a look around this place first. Oops, wrong button. There. I kind of like the feel of this station just being down in the crater. And there's the right, there's the command antennas. This is, I like this. I wouldn't mind making this like a home base. So let's continue on with the story. Get some weapons. Eh, what can you tell me about Yusha? She's nice and all, but don't expect things to be simple with her around. She told me she was with the Heart of Albion. Sounds pretty respectable. Sure, but the Heart of Albion aren't the PMC's best friends, are they? I say spend the time in her world. Heart of Albion will either get you into charity work or cyber terrorism. Never a dull day. Thanks for the help. Um, although, judging by the plot, gets you kind of into both. You kind of go to war with Plutarch for a little while there, and you're doing charity work for DeVries. Although I plan on definitely making them my empire. Systems are looking good. Well. Weapons are working. Let's give the targeting system a run through. So target the uh, asteroid, I guess is what it wants us to do. Asteroid. Check that the weapons work. Destroy the asteroids. It's a shame you don't have a capsule with collector drones. The minerals in these rocks are used in many in Trying to look for uh crafting materials. Nope, but there's debris over here. Let's get a little closer out of so, did you manage to contact anyone? Yeah, they know I'm okay. I'd hate to be a bother, but could you take me to them? It's not far from here. I like how they actually make us try to make us feel like we have control. How well the skunk is performing, it's the least I can do. Thanks. I'll mark the location in your guidance system. We'll be meeting with the heart of Albion ship to pick me up. File A to even temper. So, what do you do for a living? Nothing stable. The odd job here and there. More to keep me busy than make money. Freelancer, then. Not a bad job if you can find it. My father worked for Plutarch Mining Corporation for many years. Seeing how stressed he became, I don't think corporate life is for me. It's gone now. He left me enough that I can choose what I want to do. If you want to spend your time restoring old ships, you've found a good one here. There's a highway crossing in the next zone. Get you ready to move over to the other highway. highway. So what places on the map did this? Is this whole sector? No, this whole sector isn't full. Oh, maybe it is. No, it isn't. Okay, for some reason the autopilot wasn't working properly. It still does that every now and then, but oh well. It's a simple matter of just taking control. Actually, that's one thing I want to do. I want to go through and get all the, uh... I'll probably get trade agents and stuff off camera just because that's really long and tedious. Uh, once I get the plot station, I'll do some trading on camera, then I'll do some off camera. I'll probably broadcast it through my Steam channel, though, if anyone's, cu if anyone's curious in watching that. Well, not my Steam channel, through my Steam account. Just because it's not the most riveting footage stuff, but it's... It's footage, and there we go. We have arrived. Fly to the arrow. What do we have over there? A consumer compact craft. Nothing exciting. 
I can definitely I've definitely already noticed the um, differences between the last time I played through the plot. They'll be expecting us. This is Falk Borman to the Albion Skunk. I take it you have Yesha Taran on board. Yesha. This is Ren Otani. Yes, she's here. Should we come in to dock? I'm sorry, Yesha, but we can't risk it at the moment. Captain Otani, I'm transferring some credits to your account as we speak. I hate to be so abrupt, but time is short, and bringing Yisha on board could potentially put her and others in danger. I'm sorry, but I have to say, I'm confused. You want her to stay here? I'm sure Yisha can elaborate. She is currently better off with you than with us. Consider this a passenger transport job, Captain Otani. A well-paid one at that. We'll be in contact when this all blows over. At least he speaks my language. Well, Money. I didn't know he was going to do that. So now what? You're the captain. What would you normally do? I have a freighter parked up not too far away. How about we head there and you explain what this is all about? And so, could it probably end this episode off? Well, I still have a few minutes left. So I assume this has something to do with the constant trouble Heart of Albion is getting into with Plutarch. We do what we can. Plutarch has operations you wouldn't believe existed. What I do is find the evidence and get it to Borman. I'm starting to think Borman didn't pay me enough. Maybe the less you know, the better. We're not some crackpot group. Many in Heart of Albion are old Argon military veterans. They're pretty much the last of the Argon Federation in Albion. Then Plutarch came to power after the gates shut down. You should be happy Plutarch even tolerates your group. I'd like to see them try and shut us down. Heh, heh, heh. I uh, oh foreknowledge. It makes some of these things so amusing. What is that? That's a fighter. And I've never actually stopped. Just trying to admire some of the just admiring some of the details on this thing. High voltage. Can't read that next word. Come on, come on. I want to read that last word. And the last word is danger. Go figure. There's another warning sign over there. I wonder what this council's supposed to be. So, this, um, as I was trying to say earlier, but got cut off, I definitely feel, noticed the difference between the last time I played through the plot and now. Like, um, well, the patches have allowed me to um, increase the resolution I play at. So, like, Yish, like when I was standing there with uh, Yisha and that other guy on the Badlands Colony, um, I noticed that Yisha's elf, um, uniform was a lot, had a lot higher uh, texture quality. doesn't exist anymore after Plutarch recycled what they didn't need to shore up their ship production. Oh, I was hoping to join in on the combat. Now shut up, Betty. Well, let's see what we can salvage. Let's go maybe grab some missiles. Ah, here we go. <laughs> It'd be amazing if we could find all the stuff for the rare, uh, engine before we even finish that ship wreckage v crushers and ah there's the final one over here so some dumb fire missiles which aren't too useful a gold nugget which will come in handy for crafting there's another crate over here somewhere ah there it is we have in crate number three Scrap metal, not too useful. I just have a look around for it. Nope, that's it for uh, salvage. So, actually, let's see. What do we have available for our crafting menu right now? My own status. Inventory. Scrap metal, we'll need a whole bunch more of that. Gold nuggets, we got 
that was quite a good haul that. Now the gifts, if I remember my three point patch notes correctly, are used for uh, to get to the second level of the uh, small talk where you can get things like crew training pa uh, seminars to train up their skills and there's also a bunch of other dialogue that I, benefits that I haven't actually I should actually look at the uh, that so I should spend some time mining as well to get some of that stuff no well not mining just looting anyways I'll actually end it off with uh, when we get to the freighter this episode will run a little bit long whoops wrong I almost went to the wrong highway that highway We feels weird to not have anything against this. Let's see, what do I? My property menu, my Rahanas, and my skunk. And I don't even have anything in the Rahanas. Nothing good. Unit, eh, cargo, a whole bunch of cargo lifters, Jones. That'll come in handy. Whoops. And there she is. Our first and currently only freighter. We'll have to take good care of her, especially since I believe she's still unique. Uh oh. Oh. No, I can't say they are. They're headed this way. Looks like drones from the Sovereign Syndicate. Did you ever have Should not have boosted here. Uh, I need to let my shields charge up, cause. Shields critical. Oh, that's not the right weapon. Okay, how's my shields doing? They're holding. All right, there's there's a drone combat, then there's an actual full-on combat. Oh, good reinforcements. Whoops, bounced off the ship. There we go. So that's it for this episode. Did you just ram into my ship? Just the guy. Not specifically, but I think I can point you in the right direction. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we will get some crew for our Rahana's freighter. I think I'll go with my old name of the Chimera, unless someone thinks of a better one. And, but yeah, see you next episode, where we'll continue on with hard mode. So far, not that hard, mind you. I am also a lot more experienced. Bye.